that? In gay years, that's a lifetime. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Whether it's chat, date or mates, whatever you use a dating app for, for over a decade the queer community have been breaking up, hooking up and marrying up, all because of right now culture. And there's one app in particular that has changed the way we do it. Do you know what Grindr is? Yes. Yes. Do you know what Grindr is? The coffee chain. No, the app. Everyone talks about it, especially the straights, especially the straights. They talk about it as a hookup app. It's not just a hookup app, it's the gay app. No femmes, no fats, no Asians. Mm -hmm. And it was plastered across every single Grinder profile. Yeah. My self-esteem took a real big hit. So I do think it gets quite a bad rep in the media. Um, do I think that's necessarily fair? No. <laughs> Maybe more together as a community? <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Always. We'll come back to that Together one. in certain ways, but not in others. <laughs> <laughs> I did make a lot of friends through that. I mean, it is good for travel, actually, if you're travelling on your own. Are you here visiting? I am. OK, and will you be using the app while you're here? Possibly. Nice. Well, good luck. Thank you very much. Despite some controversy, that little demon app has become a vital part of many of our stories, from love to curing loneliness to finding friends. So we're asking the nation, Grinder. Where are we now? When people do want to say, oh, it's a hookup app, for example, you can use social media platforms as a hookup app. I know a lot of people that go on Instagram and, and meet their new boyfriend. Or